hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Evelyn welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're not new here also welcome welcome to everybody thank you so much for stopping by my channel I feel about leaving um, working schooling in Germany so if you'd like to see more of content like this please remember to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and yeah stick around thank you um today i'll just be ch chatting with you guys what i wish uh i learned before i moved to germany so this video is for new joiners or newcomers to um, germany we're already in we're already in the summer months and yeah in time from now i know that um I know that a lot of people are moving into Germany through school, joining their uh, through school, coming into work, joining their partners here, or yeah, in one way or the other, joining the family and all that. And I just like to put this video out there for anyone who is planning on coming or thinking about relocating to Germany. And um, yeah, this video would um, this video is a video I wish I would I watched. Or one of the videos I wish I did so to anyone to my future self or to my <laughs> past self this video is one I wish anyone I would wish anyone to watch if they are planning on moving to Germany of course it might not contain everything that you need to know but these are also really important that and tips that you should also consider when planning on moving to Germany so stay tuned so um, one thing that a lot of people are quick to ask me is how do we cope with um, the language and I would always say that um, make sure that you make a German, learning German a priority because even if you're coming to study and your, your course is in English, you, you still need to learn the language like it's really really important for me when I started schooling for my masters I didn't know that I could actually take German as a course uh, with um, a little fee in my school and yeah even if it wasn't going to count as a course if I had known then that it was a that it was included in the school curriculum I would have taken I would have taken more of it like maybe I would have gotten to like more advanced level as at this time so please make German learning the language make learning German the language a priority for you because it will help you a lot in integrating and all that even if you can learn how to interact basic language like basic I'm here to buy something or something like that just ask questions or to introduce yourself to say where you're from it's really important so yeah make learning the language a big priority another thing is that ask questions even before you move ask a lot of questions i discovered that there are lots and lots of groups on facebook pertaining to immigration from a particular set from different uh different countries of the world recently i i realized that there's actually a group on um, a group called Africans in Deutschland or something like that where people just ask questions oh I'm going for an appointment and all that so if you just do a random search on on Facebook you see groups about integration maybe from your country for instance you can search for Nigerians in Germany or yeah immigration but yeah just look for some keywords like that like maybe Nigerians in Germany Nigerians in Berlin Africans in Germany you would see one group or the other that will pop up and most of those groups, people are usually really open to answer questions, especially from newcomers and people that are moving into the country. Please also be aware that you don't, if you don't have to pay, for, you don't have to pay for any services. If it's not mandatory, so it's if it if it is research that you can do on your own, please go ahead and do it because yeah, so that you don't get scammed by people that want to capitalize on the on the effort on the reason that you are new and you do not know so much about um, the questions that you're asking also one thing i wish i knew was that um if i had known or if we had known that you could convert your driver's license immediately you get here for instance there are other countries like countries in the west maybe the us and the uk if you have a driver's license from there you um automatically i think i'm not sure about the uk because the uk steering is on the 
right but we use left here in germany and also my country so um what i'm trying to say is that there are some countries where when you come here you don't have to like you can just continue using your driver's license but it's not like that for some country countries so you need to ask around like if you have your driver's license from your country if you just need to um because there's given like six months period from when you land to that six months to six months to be able to to convert your driver's license into the one that you can use here so like i said ask questions there's no there's no stupid questions especially when you're moving to someone that, somewhere that is new no question is too dumb to ask no question is too stupid ask as many questions as you can because yeah like my country people will say if you ask questions you won't miss the road so please go ahead to ask and ask and ask questions as much as you can another thing is that you should be ready to read your contract well contracts you will usually come in german so be ready to open your eyes and read contracts very well like because of the fact that it's not in it might not be in your native language if it's not in the language that you're used to please you would need to transcribe and translate it because there are some contracts that will state that you cannot cancel at all and there will be some contracts that will say that you need like three month notice there will be some contracts that will say you need one year notice to cancel i'm talking about contracts for hours for some apartment they will say that you just need three month notice before you move out so even if you get an apartment today you will still have to pay the rent for three months before you move out and um for instance maybe phone bills sim cards wi-fi um for instance my transport card won't be opted for i couldn't can I remember that i couldn't cancel it because after for, um i i got it in 2018 i got it in 2018 beginning of 2018 and then by october of 2018 i was enrolled for a master's and my transport my master's um id card is um covers for my transport as it is in germany so i sent a mail for them to cancel my transport card which i already had but they said it's a contract for one year so i couldn't cancel it until the following february so they kept charging me was it 70 euros or 64 euros i can't remember how much exactly and so yeah you need to know what exactly you are paying for you need to know your contract well if you do not understand please ask questions if you can find a german or a friend that understands the language please do well to translate you can use google translate it really comes in handy translate the language really well and understand and digest and know what exactly that you're signing also when you move here be ready to do your furniture yourself <laughs> <laughs> ready to do your furniture yourself ready to do handy work yourself for a while before you get really comfortable <laughs> because yeah furniture like this chair that um that is behind me tables furniture bed wardrobes cupboards they usually come with manuals and you might have to do it yourself because of the fact that sometimes the the price that you have to pay for someone to help you to do it is really high it might even cost as much as what you're trying to fix for instance if you got your chair or your let's say your work table or the table that you want you to study maybe just a corner table a table at the corner of your room maybe just for sitting or for reading for studying for working whatever and you got the table for a hundred euros if you want to get someone that will fix that table for you the person might charge almost that like almost like 70 euros and upward because they would want to charge you hourly and yeah they want to tra charge for transport and VAT and all that so you would actually have to learn to do your um do your stuff yourself generally speaking apart from um doing your furniture yourself one thing that you have to keep at the back of your mind is that you're, you're moving to another country right so it's definitely different it's definitely different from where you're coming from so one thing that we put at the back of our minds when we came was that things are going to be different 
that is different does not mean it is necessarily wrong so that we are seeing something that is different does not mean that it's wrong except it goes against your moral standard and your values and yeah what you keep there to your heart so we treat we try to take the one that we like and then just discard or just overlook the ones that we do not like so it's definitely going to be different it's a different terrain it's a different country so be open-minded to different things that you're going to be exposed to because of course i think that's the reason for traveling right for exposure and to see other parts of the world and not just be confined to the corners of your country and lastly on a lighter note don't get angry if you greet and you're not greeted back <laughs> so um where i come from we greet a lot like even if you don't know anyone if your stem meets meets another person's stay you try try to like try to like give like a courtesy or a courtesy smile or something like that and yeah we're generally like that and you know your neighbors like you know your neighbors you um interact well with you can sit in the front of your balcony and like just with the person in the next building or the next yeah you can like just with people like have normal interaction with um people that you have not met before if my husband was here would have disagreed that you can actually do that in germany but it took a while for us to be able to do that because normally naturally when you pass by people here and you try to smile uh not everybody would might return your smile with a smile and yeah it could it was it was a hard one for me to swallow when i when we first came and when i joined my husband but right now i think i'm used to it even when i went to nigeria and <laughs> people were smiling back at me i was like okay i think <laughs> now i i'm in nigeria so it's 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 so different and yeah when you smile of course people would and, and one thing I noticed is that after I had my baby, people started getting more friendly with me. I don't know why. <laughs> but people started getting more friendly. People would smile at me, look at my baby, smile at him, look at me, give me a nod and smile and just to say like, oh, you're doing well, something like that. Maybe especially maybe a mom is with a child too. I'll smile at the child and look at the mom. The mom smile at me and I'm like, okay. <laughs> not bad <laughs> so yeah if you get snubbed or or it might not even be snubbed it might even be a stare because another thing is that even if you don't get greeted back people might or might also tend to stare at you more than you're used to like the stare is actually i thought i thought it was just me but then so i saw a video and someone also mentioned it so yeah people might also tend to stare more at you but it's okay <laughs> so uh yeah i don't want this video to be so long and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and i will see you on my next one looking forward to your chats in the comment section all right bye ciao ciao cheers